Okay, so this is the first lesson of the last unit. What we want to talk about first are first differences and what a first difference is. So that might be a new term or a new phrase that you've never heard before. But let me explain what I mean by first differences. And this is going to help us decide if the tables that we see are going to produce linear graphs, straight lines, or nonlinear graphs, which would be not a straight line. So the very first one here, let's talk about perimeter, just as an example. There's a pattern of squares. Perimeter is how many units around the outside. So in the first frame here, uh, you can see that around the outside, there would be one, two, three, four units. So that's why this four is appearing in the table. And for frame two, there's a pattern. Um, we're going to add two two squares on either side of the first square. So the perimeter is only around the outside. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the next number is eight. Notice when we're talking about perimeter, we don't include the side lengths on the inside of the shape. It's only around the outside. So again, frame three, one, two, three units, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. That's where the numbers are coming from in the table. The second table, is talking about area. So we might look at the area of each of the frames. Remember area for each of these, each of these squares counts as one square unit. So the first one has one square unit. The second one has one, two, three square units. And the next one, one, two, three, four, five, six. In the table we see the one, the three, the six, and that's where those numbers are coming from. If we look at the table, what is really important in the table, if the values on the left side are all going up by one each time, all going up by one, we want to look at what's happening on the right side of the table. So the perimeter is going up by four, by four, by four. Do you see that a jump from four to eight is a jump of four? And from eight to 12, is a jump of 4 and from 12 to 16 we're going up by 4. Another way you could think is what is 8 subtract 4? That's 4 and 12 subtract 8. The first table, the values on the right hand side of the table all go up by 4 and it's the same number every time. When we look at the second table, think about what is, what is it to go from 1 to 3 and that's a jump of 2. You jump up 2 to get to 3 to go from 3 to 6, that's a jump of 3. From 6 to 10 is a jump of 4. And from 10 to 15 is a jump of 5. 15 to 21 is a jump of 6. This is kind of different. On the left hand side over here, all of these values are the exact same number. 4, 4, 4, 4, 4. The second table, there's a pattern but it's not 2, 2, 2, it's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Whenever they are not the same value, the, these are called your first differences. And I know that might be new, uh, a new type of phrase for you, but first differences mean, that means how much is the right hand side of the table changing each time you go down in values. So the area table here, it's changing at an increasing amount. It's not all the same value. And what that tells me is this will be nonlinear. When the values all are the exact same number, 4, 4, 4, that is a linear graph. Okay, linear means straight line, so that it would, and nonlinear means not a straight line. So we don't know, is it a, some sort of curve? I don't know what type of curve, but it's not going to be a straight line. Again, here's the table. This is what the graphs would look like. The first one where the first differences were 4, 4, 4 every time, you might be able to see every time you go over 1, you go up 4, over 1, up 4. Okay, so that has a first, that, that table produces a straight line. The second table here produced a curve when we put it on a graph. So example 1 um, just asks us to determine the first differences for the following tables. And this is the only example we're going to do, so this is a pretty short lesson. But it's just, can you look at the table 
and tell me if these are lines, if they're linear, or if they're nonlinear, if they're not lines. Okay, we just need to we need to distinguish between the two. So let's look at table A. Okay, first just double check. Double check that all the values on the left side do go up by one every time. And in this case they do. They go up by one every time. So we can just zoom in here on the right hand side. From 200 to 175, that's a little bit different. That actually goes down, right? 200, 175 is getting smaller. So when it's getting smaller, it went down by 25. So to symbolize that it's gone down, it's getting smaller or getting lower, we're going to write it as a negative 25. It went down by 25. The next one goes down by 25. The next one goes down by 25. And the last first difference is negative 25. So what I notice is that they're all the same number. They're negative 25 the entire way down. So I know that this is going to be a linear graph. Okay, the fact that it's negative means if this was a graph, the line goes down. But other than that, it's going to be linear because those are all the same value. What do you think about B? Let's look. What happens here? From 42 down to 38, that's a jump of 4, right? But it went smaller. So we're going to say it's negative 4 because it's not getting bigger, it's getting smaller. And then from 38 to 34, that's another jump of negative 4. These are my first differences. That's what this is called. I'm looking at my first differences. Um, from 34 to 30, that's another jump of negative 4. And from 30 to 26, that's going down again 4. So what I know is that that is a line. That is linear. Let's just look at C. This is talking about width and area. We look at the table. We see that it goes up by 1 every time. Okay, so that's good. The right-hand side goes up by 9 from going from 3 up to 9, uh, sorry, 3 up to 12. 3 plus 9 is 12, so that's going up 9. You can write it as a plus 9 if you want, because it's going up. But we don't usually have to show the plus sign. Just 9 is good, that's positive 9. And then from 12 up to 27, that's a jump of 15. It's going up 15. And then from 27 up to 48, that's jumping up again, 21. They all jump, and there is a bit of a pattern there, but the, it's not 9, 9, 9 all the way down. It's 9, 15, 21. That graph would be nonlinear. And the last one, it's a little bit different because the values on the left-hand side aren't going up by 1. But they are going up evenly, so you just want to make sure that it's counting evenly. It's 0, 5, 10, 15, 20. So that's really good. That's an even jump. That's an even pattern. And then we can look at what, ha what is happening on the right-hand side. From 0 to 125 is a jump of 125. And then up to 250, you're jumping 125 again. 250 to 375, that jumps up another 125 and 375 to 500, that's another 125. So the biggest thing you have to get out of this lesson is if that is all the same number, if my first differences are all the same value, this is a linear graph. And if I plot, plot these ordered pairs, okay, that's like an ordered pair, if I plot that on a graph, I would get a straight line.